The essence of Survivor is simple. Bring real people from across all walks of life and throw them head first into the elements of nature. But here in Maryland, our Survivor brings something a little different. Over four seasons, nearly 80 college students have engaged in what might be the most brutal game of them all. Despite living in physical comfort, they've gone through three full months of mental torture. I should be crying over a stupid game. The results of these struggles have led to some of the most dynamic and intense games of Survivor ever created. Now, 20 students have decided to give this crazy game another shot. Some came inches away from victory, while others need total redemption for disappointing outcomes. But to play this game another time, you better believe that all these contestants are dying to come out on top. I was the last person out before the final travel. It really sucked, because as you go more into the game, you get more and more and more invested in it. But it's a new day. Last time, I thought of it very, in terms of, I guess, kind of like chess, and every piece has certain moves that it can make, and there's no human element to it. But that's that's just not the case. You need to learn to play the human element. I think that's the most important thing. So hopefully I get a chance to fix that. You ready for this? I think it was good that I played the way I did last season because I can vouch for myself and say, like, I wasn't backstabbing people. Like, I played a very honest game last season. So people will think, oh, I can trust Shannon. She's very loyal. Like, she's a good person to trust. That's not true this game. I'm 100% like, I want to win this. So I gotta do what I gotta do. There's some people that would be really hard for me to write their name down, but if it means keeping myself in here longer, that's why I'm here. I get there, nobody's there. I'm like, crap. Everyone's probably already started the game. There's probably some twist that I'm already missing out on. The paranoia started the setting, which is one of my strengths and weaknesses. So I'm checking under everything that can be closed. Season one ended in disaster and heartbreak for me. A lot of my allies got picked off. So it was do or die. It was win challenges and find idols to survive. And that's what I did. I won five straight challenges and I searched all night for these idols. And I ended up finding both of them. Looking for idols is definitely one of my strategies. The problem is, it's a big campus and I don't even know where to start, but I'll definitely have an idol in my hand before I get voted out. Season three was definitely a roller coaster. So you're willing to give up the thing you fought so hard to ruin our friendship over? Or maybe it wasn't ever real. It was very challenging emotionally, physically, and I want to, you know, have a different ending to my Survivor game. Slowly as the season went on, as I became more comfortable in the game, I was more willing to make big decisions. Cool, Victoria. I think I just want to see how strong a player I am when I'm in this kind of stage, when everyone is there to play. I, I can't run to save my life. It hasn't even been five minutes of Rita's down. Yeah, we go to the gym or something. You know, last week, I, for the fun of fun of it, I decided to go for a running hike, and I could only run about 10 minutes before my lungs thought they were gonna die. And so, yeah, I think that we're A-OK -okay as long as there's no running challenges. I'm so excited to be back. You know, it's my time to shine in the sun and show that I'm here to play Survivor and I'm here to win and uh, make up for everything that happened last season. <laughs> Now we can do something about it, because Steve and Chris are the type of assholes we're going to be up against our entire life. I think I've been attributed all-star status because I am not someone who, like, takes people's shit. And I don't really care if you think I'm weird. So I'm going to be either myself or even weirder than I usually am. Look, Phil still has a flip phone. Okay. <laughs> exactly. People know what the time investment survivor is. No one's going to come back just for fun. Literally every person is here because they want to win. And I don't want someone like fucking Steve Sleesman winning again. Steve is just like some average boring Joe who gives a shit about Steve. I want someone interesting to win. And I'm the most interesting. 
last time I played, I think I learned that it's really important to have relationships with people. Um, I think that was a huge reason why I made it so far. But I feel like watching my season over, it kind of seemed like I didn't do anything. Um, I don't know. Like I, I think I played more of like a social and like mental game, I guess you could say. Like I want to be able to articulate what I've done better, which was definitely not my strong suit last <laughs> season. <laughs> I think I have a lot to prove. I want people to respect what I'm doing and not notice it at the time what I'm doing, but I want them to look back and be like, damn, Nicole did a really good job. Again. I'm one of the most competitive people on this earth. I, at Tribal, announced that my dog had died and we pulled off probably the best blind side that has ever happened on Survivor Maryland. 13th person to have a Survivor Maryland outside. Connor. Try this person. <laughs> that literally defied my mind. <laughs> but away from the arrogance, the cockiness, the competitiveness, Survivor has become part of my life. When I was 12 years old, I lost my mom, one of the most influential people in my life. And I feel that I really have proven myself to be a survivor in more ways than one. Survivor is one of the things in my life that gets my adrenaline going, gets my heart going. But as bad as I want it, doesn't mean it's just going to be given to me. I still have to go out there and earn this shit. These players will compete against the best of the best, but only one will become Maryland's ultimate all-star. 89 days, 20 people, one. Survivor!